Hey guys, before this video starts, I just want to say this video took me over two weeks to record, another week to edit, and I am so proud of this product. So if you do not mind leaving a like and subscribing if you do enjoy this content and maybe sharing it with a friend. With all that being said, I welcome you to a Channing TTV production. In the war-torn streets of Tarkov, where danger lurks around every corner, a seasoned mercenary finds himself on a mission to complete his most daunting quest yet. Set up. A skier given task making you wear these two items while trying to kill 15 PMCs with an MP series shotgun. With his fairly new set of survival skills and tactical prowess, he must navigate through the chaos facing ruthless enemies and navigating treacherous terrain, all while striving to emerge victorious. Our story starts off at Customs. With a spawn by the railway, Channing decides to flank around to the SCAV checkpoint, allowing a moment to check for some loot while listening for enemy gunshots in the distance. As he stuffs the propane tank, sewing kit and computer cord in his backpack, he proceeds towards the sounds of gunshots. As a scav embraces his love for Channing by trying to give him a smooch, Channing relentlessly shoots down his first victim while the scav cries his last cries. Slightly bothered by what just happened, Channing presses on, only to hear a ruffle in the bushes. PMC was creeping the whole time. Unlucky for him, he got some brand new slugs in his helmet he could take home as souvenirs. <coughs> With a quick two shots to end another unwelcome scab, Chan begins to heal his wounds. As Channing injects some adrenaline to relieve the effects of pain, he loots his first PMC kill. A double kiddered madman. He quickly takes his stuff, then emerges deeper into customs. As Channing made his way in between Old Gas Station and Warehouse 4, he heard some movement. With two close calls, Channing decides extracting as soon as possible is the best decision, so he hops the wall and heads to Ruef Roadblock. Little 
did he know? He'd be running right into his own death. Without hesitation, he patched back up and headed right back into the chaos, just a quick jog away from Fortress. Instead of wasting any time searching for loot, Channing decides he wanted to test out a rat spot with the hopes of maybe catching an unsuspecting visitor off guard. All according to plan, Channing drops a fellow setup quester, but here he must act quickly due to all the noise he just made. After taking a few shots, Channing is unsure of where he got shot from. As Channing uses the IFAC to heal his wounds, he decides to put a few shots downrange while trying to spot his enemy. Without any idea of where the enemy is, Channing finds himself in a life or death situation, so he uses the last strands of his IFAC before he starts yelling taunts at the enemy in an urge to get his opponent to reveal his position. Stay focused, guys. You fucking cocksucker! You are going down as all this shit. Nice. No one's left behind? Yeah, sure. Channing decides to make a break for it in an attempt to neutralize his enemy. After swiftly relocating, Channing hears the enemy popping painkillers, but uh, he's unsure if the audio is above him or below him. So Channing waits patiently for his opponent to make a mistake, hoping to capitalize on the situation. And there you have it, two setup kills in one raid, a fairly golden achievement in Channing's eyes. Unfortunately, time is running out. The noise from these firefights, plus the player scabs in the area, could only result to disaster if he doesn't move swiftly.
Demoralized after being shot down by multiple player scavs, Channing put set up on hold to explore the business center of Tarkov. Ground Zero. He's joined by oh his God. younger brother, Jackson. Oh, I do not know where we're at. Oh yeah, look at this shit, ready? Holy. Oh my God, that is so bright. Oh my, wait, that actually kind of hurts my eyes to look at it. I don't know a building where With a younger set of eyes yeah, and a kit right. consisting of pistols, the boys headed out to explore. Oh wait, terror groups right across the street, I think. So we're probably in Empire, No, that's maybe? Nakatani. That's Nakatani. So we're in capital. Okay. okay All right. So we have to go upstairs yeah, somewhere go upstairs. and find the gun. Take the escalator. Follow me. This is fucking oh boy. yeah, yeah. I know where it is. I know where it is. Follow me. Follow me. Okay, it's gonna be up here. Oh, wait, no, it's in this last room. Wait. It is here. No, no, no. Yeah, it's right here. I'm hopping on it. I'm hopping on it. I'm looking down the street. I don't see anybody. Should I just fucking should I just go crazy on it? Should I should I go crazy and just start letting it rip? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Someone's shooting the uh, MG. <laughs> Alright, let's go find the uh, MG now. After finding the grenade launcher for Jackson's task, right, the so boys relocated right. and searched for the mounted machine gun. But as Tarkov gives, Tarkov takes. It wouldn't take long for them to run into problems. Stairs. Wait, I'm out in front of me. I'm out in front of me. Directly out in front of me. One's dead. I think there's people yep. upstairs though. There's two scabs out, out, outside dead. Wait, no, they're no, they're not that. They're they're alive. One ran in. Yep, yep. I'm kind of playing back. All right, all right. I say we just rush upstairs here. All right. Let's do it. You're gonna have to jump over barbed wire here, all right? Yep, yep, yep. I'm mean, in here. Wait, hold. I heard somebody open something. Yep, they're walking around up there. Yep, they're using the MG. It's gonna be to our left, to our right, in in this hallway. The gun. I don't hear anyone in here. I see anyone. You find it? Alright. Yep. Alright, I say we hold up up here. I'm gonna hop on the MG. Alright, go ahead. I'm gonna uh, loot. Go ahead. I, guess I hear a bunch Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I got a car battery. I think right under us. Kill the scav. I think there's people below us, Jax. Yeah. Now that they located the machine gun, it's time to head down the stairs down? and slowly clear out any threats in their way. Are we in the Nakatani basement? No, no, no. We're in. We're still in Empire. Okay. But this will go down. I think we can. We might be able to get from to terror group from here. I can't open that. Oh. Uh, All right, so we I'm gotta go out that one door. Right. Right. There's there's people scabs, shooting. Like, everywhere. I think there's people shooting at terror group. There's a scab in here. Scab to yep, our left and too. And outside. And outside. Yep. I don't 
don't see the one outside. Dropped one. Yep. I'm grabbing this guy's sniper. Hold on. No way. I got a VPO with a scope. Hold on. I got to grab his mags. Watch my back. All right. Where? Yeah, like the left side a little bit. I hear moving on my right too. Seems like he's like close out. He's left. He's left. But there, I think there's a. I heard movement to my right. Nothing on this guy. Yeah, there's more dead scabs right here. I really don't like this building up in the front Yeah! TMC right there! I, I hanged the- I, I hit him twice. Oh, I'm getting fucked. I'm hurt, I'm hurt. A little bit. I'm falling back a little bit. Hold that angle. Yeah. I gotta heal myself. Yeah, yeah. Just keep healing. Keep healing. Watch out for the scab to your left. With a confirmed PMC directly outside of the building, the boys are forced into a fight. So Channing heals up and decides to ask Jackson for a grenade, which resulted in even more problems. Do you have a grenade? Yeah, I do. All right. Fucking press myself though. Alright, drop rather. it to me, drop it to me. Turn around, just drop it. Oh, bad nade, bad nade. I hit him once. Yep. We gotta push, we gotta push. He hit me bad. All right, go in with pistols with me. Yep. Just rush him, rush him. Three, two, one, go. Drop, drop, nice, drop, drop. nice, nice. I gotta heal, I gotta heal. There's another guy, another guy. Right, right. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. It's a scab, I think. No, it's not. It's PMC. They're both kitted as hell, Jack. Oh my God. Okay, okay. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get out of here. Don't worry. Don't worry. Wait, did you kill him? Yeah, I killed him. Good fucking shit. I gotta heal. Yeah, I killed him. You suck. <laughs> Popping a propofol. Got you an M4. Oh my god, it's literally his first day. Unfortunately, Jackson went down. However, Channing's new goal was to extract with all the loot so he could give his little brother some of the earnings for his efforts. As Channing stuffs all the loots in his bag, he makes his way back into the Empire building. Poor guy wasn't even on full auto. All right, so I gotta run this way to my left. I need you to help me out.
To the right or to the left, oh, Jax? To the left. All right. He stops for a quick second to enjoy an MRE, hopefully giving himself enough energy to make it to extract. To my right or to my left? So it's gonna be all the way up to your left. All right, I think I know where I am. It already feels done, Do I go through there? No, it looks like I shouldn't uh, go through no, there. No, 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 you should, you should, you should. But bro, this is sniper scav. <coughs> no, 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 bro, you're tripping. No, 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 no. <coughs> oh. My. God. Holy. <sighs> oh my lord. As Channing enjoys the triumphs of this Ground Zero raid, he has to quickly remind himself of the overall task at hand. Set up. Wasting no time, he loads up his shotgun, puts on his Ushanka hat, and straps on his scav vest, oh, ready for his next customs raid. With a spawn right next to Crack House, he decides to be a bit greedy and snoop around for any items worth a valuable amount of money. And as he's searching, he ends up finding one of the most valuable items in the game. Intelligence. He quickly puts it inside his pouch, making sure his greedy hands are the only hands that touch this. <laughs> no fucking way, dude. No but fucking way, It seemed as dude. if the shock from finding the intel got to Channing's head. Are you kidding me right now? Because he found himself oh standing near an open window, completely still. No way, bro. Hey, I got the intelligence out. That's all that matters. In his next raid, right off spawn, he quickly found himself pinched between two other PMCs. So, he waits patiently in the bushes for the right time to make a move. One PMC down, Channing quickly goes prone to bandage his wounds, dodging incoming fire coming from a scav oh about 20 oh to 30 meters oh out. Oh my god. What is going on? Oh. However, as Channing repeats from the rock, he notices the scav pointing his gun in a whole different direction. Indicating in close proximity where the other PMC could be. This guy running right here in front of me. I might be dead here, boys. <sighs> oh, fuck. I'm hurt. <sighs> We're good, we're good. 
we're good, we're good, we're good. <coughs> I wonder if I killed him. I killed him! No fucking way. I actually killed him, bro. I'm the greatest player alive. Oh my... Oh my god, I'm actually the greatest player alive. Let's go, dude. Oh, he was a Chad too, bro. Oh my god, he was a Chad. Oh, he was a freaking Chad. Oh, let's go, dude. I'm so hyped. That feels good. As Channing gathers together his loot from the, right. the multiple bodies on the ground, oh, he thinks it's best to try and extract with all of this loot. Since the money in his stash is slowly running out due to the magnitude of Ushanka hats and scab vests he's bought over the past Dude, couple days. So he moves onwards. Of course, a safe and easy extract is non existent in Tarkov. So Channing uses his yeah, new toy to help aid him in eliminating scavs. As he makes his way past dorms, he safely makes it to Ruef Roadblock. It seemed as if things were a little too easy. Let's go! Two setup kills. What a fucking raid, man. No way I got that second guy, bro. That guy should have killed me, dude. <laughs> Let's go! As Channing celebrates his victories, Oh, he must also reap the negative side of things, which ended up not going his way. I gotta kill you, man. Why? Because I have to. I got, I got a quest too, bro. I'm sorry. I gotta kill PMCs. Anybody else? Nice kill, bro. GG's. As Channing bathed in the back to back losses, he thought maybe it's time for a change of scenery. So he found himself laying prone on top of a container while waiting for potential PMCs to run through his building. True rat behavior. I have a family. I have kids. I see you on my left. Don't do it, please. Don't do it, man. Hey, man. It's okay. Just we can be friends. Yo, how the hell you see me, man? That's crazy. I'm up on top of this thing, bro. Here, shoot me. You get the, you can get the kill. But yeah, I'm up on a rat spot Holy right crap, here. You are. That's you, crazy. Bro, look at you can get up from the barrels. Yeah, I'm taking my I'm taking my gun out or my knife out. Look at watch. You can get on this Ooh. rat spot. That's so Look good at to this. know. You just marked my boy. Damn. That's oh, I killed him. Oh, oh shit. Hey, get his stuff and get the fuck out of here, bro. I don't want it. I just want. I just want yeah. PMC kills. All right. Good luck, man. 
You know that one saying, um, karma is a bitch? Yeah, Channing could tell you right now. <coughs> that karma is indeed a bitch. However, that brings us into our next raid, where Channing took things slow. He ended up at Old Gas Station, and as he was on patrol, he ended up hearing potential movement in the brush. As he makes it to the extract, he checks his kill feed, only to discover that he killed a PMC that he didn't even know he killed. Wait, I did kill one. Must have been what? that guy he was shooting That's at just dude. before. Even though Channing didn't get his loot, he was one step closer to completing the setup quest. Yet so far at the same time, didn't help that into his next raid. He totally forgot to bring ammo for his shotgun. Yo, I didn't bring any ammo. Oh my god, I gotta get out of here. Ah, I'm such an idiot. I might be able to find ammo in here. Shotgun ammo, bro. Oh, God. With a scav in the building, Channing has to make a quick split decision. Hide, or go bat shit crazy with his tomahawk. It's safe to say he chose the latter. He not dead, bro. How? Literally how? After escaping with his <laughs> life, Channing continues to retreat. Do I have old gas? No. This is bad. Just give me some shotgun shells.
still hopeful, he continues to search for some ammo. I only have six rounds. That was almost really bad. Channing takes this moment to heal himself up before doing his best to get out of this raid. I can't believe I did not kill that scab. But still, on the search for some shotgun ammo, I should go back for that scav. I didn't know that I had shot my gun. No, it's okay. I should keep moving forward. tries to make it to his extract, got caught up by a scav. Of course. Of course, bro. Of course. Barely able to defend himself, Channing goes down. It seemed as if that death to the scav took its toll on Channing. That did not go as because quiet. no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't stay out of trouble. kidding me right now? Sounds like we have a victim. No matter what he did, he still came out empty-handed. No fucking way, bro. Maybe the intelligence he found earlier plagued Channing with a curse keeping him away from his real joy, completing the task. Good fight, bro. Good fight, good fight. After taking various L's, it starts to get to Channing's head. He has to remind himself not to give up, for if he did, he'd be crowned as a quitter. With a spawn near Big Red, he sprints towards RUAF roadblock to cut off any potential PMCs who are headed the same way.
Unsure if there's threats, Channing scans the area as the birds sing in the background. An eerie yet peaceful moment. With 11 out of 15 kills done for setup, Channing realized he just took out a duo. Time to get their loot, then get the hell out of here. I can't get up. I can't get up. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Slightly on edge due to the fact that Channing can hear more footsteps. He tries his best to loot quickly, before eliminating more threats. Get out of here. When I'm nervous, I'm so quiet. That just gave me the biggest confidence boost that I needed. Those two kills right there. And I know they're lower levels than me, but it's still. That felt so good. As he takes a second to take inventory of the W's this raid, Channing gets shot in his right arm, completely blacking it out. He then tries his best to evade out of sight from his enemy. I think he, that guy was shooting at me from over the hill. Slowly, but surely he makes it to the ZB-11 extract. But he's not done yet. Channing needs just a few more kills. Then he can take off the stupid scav gear and drop the shotguns for some of the loot he's made out with during these raids. Not too shabby. Not too shabby.
I just got a lag spike. Close the door. As Channing continued to pursue with high spirits, he was then rewarded again. Ooh. Attack 30 sight. I love that scope. It's like 170k, I think. I have like two of them in my stash. He quickly stuffs it in his bag while he's then greeted by the shiny looks of a brand new M4. Ooh, M4? I'll take that. He slings it on his back and moves onwards. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get inside this wall. Along the way, he's greeted by a few other PMCs. I don't like where I'm at. Safe right to now. say that they were not looking to become friends. Oh my god, bruh. Who were those guys? I'm so confused. Oh, I got one. Nice. Okay, we got one. Martin Luther King. <laughs> Even though Channing got killed, he still managed to let the small things give him a chuckle. With two more kills to go, he presses on. This time, with the knowledge of how to actually throw a grenade... Got him. No way. After absolutely obliterating his opponent, he fixes himself up, being very cautious of threats while he's looting. In a celebratory fashion, Channing decides to throw a few grenades, Josh Allen style. Go Bills. <laughs> All jokes aside, Channing moves forward. Nearing in on his goal of completing setup, it's almost as if he could taste the savory juices no of victory, even though he has yet to experience it. Speaking of savory juices, I would like some steak and mashed potatoes after being hired for three cents an hour by Channing to voice over this movie. But I digress. I've played this game too much, like being slow and like walking around and shit, and like when you're out in the open. What the fuck? When you're out in the open, <laughs> uh, I've noticed that, like, make the noise, bro. Just make the fucking noise. And then when you're going into, like, buildings, gain your stamina up, take it slow. But I've gotten killed way more times just trying to not make noise and play a little too slow. Alright, we're gonna make our way here. ZB11. How much time is left? 27 minutes? How are you alive? Oh my god. Oh my god, that scared the absolute shit out of me. Fuck it. Ah! Scared to my left! I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Scav in there too. 
I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh my god, I'm gonna get extract cam. Ah! We did it! We did it! Let's go! Two more! Two more, bro! Two more! Let's go! Oh, he was a level 20. Okay. With two more kills required to complete setup, Channing loads back in with pure grit and determination for these last two eliminations. As he makes it towards the central part of the map, he takes a second to gather himself while paying attention to his surroundings. In the midst of things, he thinks he hears an enemy player in the building just 12 o'clock from his current position. So Channing strides towards the house in an attempt to catch his enemy off guard, a tactic that has worked before. Unfortunately, just like Channing, his enemy also expected him. However, Channing remains calm and uses his new skills to scout the doorway before making an attempt to eliminate the current cause of his stress. God, what a fight. It may not have looked pretty, but it got the job done. One more kill to complete setup, but Channing lets that fly over his head. Because his first priority right now is to survive. He presses on and tries his best to dodge fire coming in his direction. I think I hear him up on Sniper Tower. There's a sniper scab up. As he gets closer and closer to his extract, he also takes his time to eliminate any threats along the way, or certainly try his best to. Bro, no way. He headed towards Customs PVP Central. Dorms, with already various gunfights ensued. He runs closer and closer to get involved. Take your 20,000 rubles, though. Thank you.
Oh my god, so close. Oh my god. There's so many people in there. I hope I didn't just kill a scav and I actually killed a guy, man. Please tell me I killed a guy. Yes! Let's go! We freaking did it, man. Oh my gosh, let's go. Yes, sir! 157k and an RFB for that, as well as like a crap ton of XP. Let's go, dude. Oh, that feels good. In the aftermath, he reflects on the parallels between this gaming experience and the challenges he faces in real life. Just as in Tarkov, where every step brought new dangers, his own journey is filled with uncertainty and adversity. Yet, the resilience and perseverance that led to his success in the game mirror the exact strength we must have to overcome our own obstacles. In 2 Chronicles 15.7 it is written, But as for you, be strong and do not give up, for your work will be rewarded. This timeless wisdom rings true in the digital battlegrounds of Tarkov and the complexities of our own lives. Let us serve as a reminder to you that in the face of hardship, we must remain resolute, for our efforts will ultimately yield their just rewards. As he emerges from Tarkov, he not only takes with him the spoils of victory, but also a renewed sense of fortitude, knowing that the light of perseverance and strength pave the way to triumph, both in the game and the world beyond. <laughs>